Look what the cat dragged in. More stuff. All right, we got 24 of these panels now. Okay, so we're gonna go through this shipment here. Next shipment of stuff. Let's see what we got. This is the Magnum PT100 charge controller. Magnum Power Track PT100. 100 amps charging capacity, 6,600 watts input, 240 volts maximum voltage. There we go. Right about there. Let's see. Oh. Cable. It's 100 foot. Uh, H4 or something like that. That's the combiner box right there. Here's my other one. Hopefully they look the same. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, two of those. 12 panels on here, 12 panels on here. All right, lots of goodies here. Let's see what we got. Clips. End caps for the Iron Ridge rails. That's the 100 amp output from the charge controller. Here's the 50 amp input to the charge controller. Uh, so yeah, so why 50 and 100? Because 50 amps at high voltage, 100 amps at low voltage. This will be probably 50 volts. And this will be probably you know, 150 volts. Something like that, I don't know. All right, there's a 15 amp breaker for the combiner box. There's another one. I have 20s in the, in the first one. They talked me into the 15s for this one. So we'll see how that compares. One of them will have 15s, the other one will have 20s. And we'll see if we get, you know, newest sense trips or not. Uh, who's calling me? There's the UFO clamp. Universal module clamps. Wow, got a bunch of those. That's the end caps. More clamps. Jesus, how many of these did I get? All right, then we got, it looks like the, that's what's gonna hold the panel down. Or maybe, maybe not. No, that's what, this holds the panel down. This holds the rail to the L foot, or in this case, the flash foot two. So half of my system's gonna be flash foot one with the L foot, and the other half's gonna be flash foot two, just because I happened to buy this right when they were switching over. So it'll be a good test for Iron Ridge to see which, which side holds up better and has less problems, because they're gonna be on the same roof for the same amount of time, mounted at the same time. 50-50, half and half. That's the grounding clamp. Some other stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. This is uh, this is gonna be one of those lightning arresters. All right, midnight solar, I think. Yeah, look at that. Looks good. It's the 300, right? Okay. Wow, look at that, a lot smaller, huh? This one has the notches here and it's got the, this guy and it's got some scaling here so you can, someone's probably gonna be a little easier to line up. And then I'm missing a piece here. So let's see what else we got. Oh, right, here they are. So this guy goes in here. I guess I could, I don't want to snap it shut. Nicer thing about this is that you're elevating all the way up to here, I think, where the water could get in. Whereas here you got 
the seal, which isn't elevated near as much. So this is probably going to be better. And your load is has no lever arm. So here, when you're pushing on this, you have a lever arm, which gives leverage to tear this off. Here, it's axial, so it'll be stronger because there's no lever arm to rip it off. So for flash foot one, it's a different size too. So I think what they did was in the flash foot two now, they've got all the bolts the same size, where here they had two different sizes, so you don't have to change tools when you're on the roof. So yeah, they're getting a little better, right? So I still have to change tools because I got both sets. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Here's some of the uh, splices. Uh, so this splices your rail sets together. So I'm going to need. Let's see. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, let's see what else we got. Here's a couple more of these hundred footers. They're each four connectors so I'm gonna cut these not not in half but you know as needed so what you do you know you cut them in half let's say you cut it in half and then you, know, you plug this into your solar panel you plug that into your solar panel and you run them back some of them will be probably 50 60 feet long and some of them will be you know, 20 feet long all right, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here's my checklist. One thing I like about the Alti store is they send you pictures of everything as they're packing it, so you know what you're getting. So, there's those three and those two. Check. That's the box it came in, check. Pretty sure I got those. 24 of those holds the rails on. 24 of these hold the panels on. It's all check, check. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.